of our 30 day challenge. We are more than halfway right now. <laughs> so, pat yourself on the back. We are going to get through this all together. Today, we're going to talk about posture. Um, you always want to think about that's something that we don't really think about just when we're standing or when we're walking or when we're running too. Because if you have bad posture when you're running, um, you're going to lead to injuries in your back, like Garris was pointing out, or shoulder injuries, knee injuries, because you're shifting more to one side. So just being aware of how you stand and how you run and where you're putting your weight is super important in taking care of your body. So next time you're just standing around, think about where you're shifting your weight. Some people stand like this. I have a real bad habit of shifting my weight over. So I try to catch myself and try to stand tall and stay nice even on the feet. You don't want to stay light in the head, so make sure you're lifting those shoulders up and back. You don't want to be slouching forward. This tends to pull those shoulders forward a lot too, so if you tend to cross your arms, try to open yourself up, relax your arms to your side. So little things like that can affect your workouts by causing those injuries or causing those imbalances. So you just want to be aware. So our tip of the day is just be aware of your posture and how you stand and try to stand taller just when you're walking around and standing, even in your workouts too. Whenever we're doing exercises, stand tall. So with that said, let's go on to our workout. We have a provider for you today. Hand it over to Dara. All right, day 16, upper body. Who's ready? Who's ready for this? All right. So I hope you guys got had a great weekend. I hope your team won. Um, so we're talking about football on Friday. So, <clears throat> so we're going to start off with some arm circles. Do 30 seconds. Hold 
did. We had started on our upper body. I had two sets of weights here. I'm going to probably alternate between the two of them. Something Carrie just said about posture reminds me that I know that if I'm working out and I want to get so many reps in, I tend to lose my posture. So I have two sets, quality, not quantity, right? Do you agree? Mm -hmm. So focus on your posture and doing the exercise correctly versus how many can you do. So we're going to do 30 seconds times three of four different exercises. So we are going to do 30 seconds of upright rows. You want to hold your weights close to your body and lead with your elbows. We're going to do candlestick raises and we're going to do single, single, and then double. We're going to do candlestick raises the same, single, single, 30 seconds. And then we're going to do plank cross pickup.
shoulder again. We already hurt those. <laughs> we did. We walk back. Right here. Alright. Next one is going to be shoulder rolls. Hold. Posture is important on this one. Core tight. Roll those shoulders. Hold those dumbbells like the right sides. And roll those shoulders. Don't bend forward. Hold your abs in tight. It's a nice little break, isn't it? Still getting a good workout in. Working on that posture. All right, we're going to do single, single, double. But you're going to hold it at a 90 degree. So it's in a constant state of contraction. Single, double, bicep curl. Single, single. You want to be able to carry your own groceries in, right? As much as we love men. All at the same time, too. Yes, and that's what I do. These <laughs> amount of trips. So we're going to do a frog squat. Get low. If you can't get all the way low, Sierra, you can stay up with me and do a regular, just a bicep and a half squat or as low as you can get in that squat. You know, I've got to work those legs too. You guys are doing awesome. <coughs> Two, one. Back to the row. Row, fly, row, row. Woo! This one's challenging. You guys are doing great. Or a sleeveless event, 
Do some of these. Yes. <laughs> and then <laughs>
above your chest. So when they come out, try to have them next to your chest. All right, get ready for the skull crushers. Again, don't crush your skull for you. This is one chest and triceps area where you might have to have a second set of dumbbells because my triceps tend to be weaker than my chest. So sometimes I use a, set, a lighter set for my triceps than I do for my chest. All right, back to these scoops. The single, single, double. Try to really feel it coming from your chest. Posture's gonna really take place here, or really come into place here, because you don't want to use a muscle that we're not trying to focus on. All right, your knee, elbows back, triceps are already on fire from these skull crushers. Feel like carry how you yeah. go. Feel it now. You guys are doing great. We got one more round of the chest and tries here. And then we'll have our last two minute cardio. And you're done with 316. How about that? Feeling good? Wear that sleeveless shirt today. Take top to work. You earned it. <laughs> you did. Flies.
Get your chest, get your hamstrings. 